October Horror Fest continues with Rob Zombie's Halloween, an overdramatic interpretation of John Carpenter's classic. Nah, actually I do like this one, kinda. So the film starts off with a young Michael in 1978. He lives in a dysfunctional family with a stripper mom, drunk stepdad, and his sister, who just doesn't seem to give two fucks about him. The only one he cares about, really, is his baby sister. And at school, he's bullied by this kid all the time, and finally one day he just snaps and beats the shit out of the kid with a tree branch. Later, as his mom is stripping the night away, his sister Judith is supposed to take Michael trick-or-treating, but would rather fuck her boyfriend instead. After eating a shit ton of candy corn, he slits the dad's throat, bashes the boyfriend's head in, and then stabs his sister to death. Hmm, massacre style. So the mom comes home and is in utter shock. Well, yeah. Then Michael gets shipped away to Smith's Grove Sanitarium under the supervision of Dr. Sam Loomis. Loomis tries again and again to connect with Michael, but that shit just ain't happening, bro. The mother finally loses all hope and then kills herself, leaving the damn baby all alone. What a bitch. Then 15 years later, Michael breaks out of Smith's Grove and heads back to Haddonfield to hunt for his sister, who is now a teenage girl named Lori. Uh, yeah, it's close enough. So Loomis learns about this and tries to recruit the sheriff to help, but he ain't buying it. Michael stalks her and her friends around and then finally kills them later that night. Lori is busy babysitting Tommy Doyle when Michael attacks. She finds the bodies of her friend Linda and Annie, but, but then Annie's somehow still alive. Loomis shows up and shoots Michael. Well, Loomis, you can't kill the boogeyman. Isn't that what they said? So Michael crushes his skull and drags Lori back into the house. I think the whole time he's just trying to tell her who he is, so, so he's just going about it the wrong way. Why don't you just fucking talk, man? Damn. So just when you think it's over, he tackles her out of the second story of the house, and, and she shoots him in the face. Boom. He's dead. Well, zombie, not quite. Not quite. But almost. You almost did it. Part 2. Wow, they actually greenlit a sequel for this? Oh, oh shit, sorry, wrong movie. Sorry, sometimes I just can't tell them apart. Anyway, so we get the hospital vibe from the original sequel for all of like 15 minutes, and then the film goes full Rob Zombie mode. Lori now lives with Annie and the sheriff, and is all goth now for some reason. Michael's been roaming around aimlessly, looking like a hobo. Wait a minute, didn't he get shot in the face? Oh well. Lori tries to forget what happened two years ago and just tries to move on, but she just can't seem to. Meanwhile, Loomis is living the high life, off a book he wrote about the incident. Yeah, way to profit off the torment of others, Loomis. I don't think the other Loomis would do that. He was just nuts. So anyway, Hollywood Loomis is doing the talk show circuit, blah blah blah, until he finds out Michael is still alive and killing. Lori reads the Loomis book and finds out she's actually Michael's sister. Well, that's just icing on the damn cake, isn't it? So Michael catches back up with her and kills Annie. Again. In this one, right before he kills anyone, though, he sees his child self and his mother wearing all white on a white horse. I have no fucking idea why. Finally, they have this standoff in a shack where Loomis tries to reason with Michael, and then he gets killed. Again. And then they shoot Michael, firing squad style, and he falls and gets impaled on spikes. So he's dead. Uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna say it. So Lori emerges from the shack with the mask on and gets put into a mental hospital. The end. Well, that was a shit show, wasn't it? Is this one just forgotten about now? I mean, it should be. Join me next time as I start the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Wow, finally a movie that makes sense. Eh, well, maybe not.